Many people know from the past that uh, the YMCA has ran a wing fling night, but due to the COVID restrictions over the past couple of years, it's been canceled. But joining me now is Ed Zelke, the man behind wing fling, the man who uh, brought it to the YMCA. So welcome, Ed. Thanks for joining me. And I understand uh, you have this idea of uh, doing wing fling once again, but it's going to be a pop up. So give us the details. Okay. Yeah. As you know, um... With all the restrictions of COVID, we weren't be able to we weren't being able to do it in a hall. So uh, we decided to do a pop up event. Yeah, so we're going to set a chip truck up um, on the parking lot of the YMCA, and we're going to do it directly out of there. So Ed, uh, this wing flame pop up that's going to occur at the YMCA parking lot in Coburg. So give us the dates, uh, what people can expect, uh, what type of great food they're going to receive, and and the costs. Okay, sure, sure. Um, so it's going to be held on April 2nd and 3rd, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be running from 11 to 6 p.m. And we will be serving uh, Yorkie's fries and we will be serving wings uh, by the pound. Uh, they'll be prepped up for us by the Best Western uh, Arthurs. So uh, the cost of the wings is uh, $10 and the cost of the fries is 6 So that's where we're going to start. So let's talk about uh, about the support you've always received from Yorkies, uh, even when it was uh, we had the uh, wing fling at, over at the Carpenters uh, Hall. They were always uh, uh, there to support uh, this event and the YMCA. Yeah, D Dave is absolutely uh, amazing, and he is really, really a, a great team player. I mean. Uh, we couldn't run wing, wing fling without him because uh, we need more fryer capacity, especially at the hall. Um, and now we don't have anything at the moment. So he's, he's donating his whole truck to, to do this event. So it's, it's just wonderful that he's doing that. And it's also wonderful that Chef Brian stepped up at uh, the Best Western to help us out uh, with the wings too. So talk about that relationship uh, with the YA, with uh, Best Western. They've always been there to support many local organizations. Uh, they were able to uh, pivot quickly as as well, Ed, to figure out ways that uh, they could get their restaurant out there and get food out the door and support that. And we've all seen the, the, the Sunday night dinners for different groups or different organizations. So they've stepped up once again. So let's first talk about that. And then also talk about, you say the wings are going to be prepped there. Prep there, cook there, and then brought down, or just prep yes. there and cooked on site yeah. at the YMCA. Okay. Yeah, okay. First off, I mean, Best Western has always been good with us. Even when we were developing the concept of wing fling, we would sit down and consult with them and their chef. And uh, he was very, very good at giving us contacts, where to source the wings, uh, the best way to do it, the safest way to do it, right? So in terms of uh, this event, um, we could uh, have gone back to our regular regular wings that we do at, at the hall, but that would entail um, um, actually knowing exactly how much we're gonna sell <laughs> um, and not having any way to return anything. So Chef Brian uh, stepped up and he said, you know what, we can prep the wings here. They, they pre-cook the wings for us. And then all we do is warm them up in the oil at the very end. So they will feed the product directly out to us. So the big question is for those wing lovers is, is what sauces are you gonna have? Cause I know when this event was held uh, on a yearly basis uh, at the hall, there was many different kinds of sauces they could get. What can people expect to order uh, at the wing fling pop-up shop? Okay, so we're doing the top three. <laughs> the, the most popular um, is honey and garlic and that always surprises me, but that's probably 70% of the sales is honey and garlic. Next uh, is followed by uh, barbecue and then hot wing. And um, also if people just want them plain, we'll do them plain. So any choice you'd like. So Ed, uh, let's talk about as well. Uh, I know that uh, with times being different uh, and you just doing this pop-up shop in the in the parking lot, there was uh, in the past, uh, there was uh, able to people to be able to pre-order to show up, get their wings and drive away. Are you able to offer that or are you just having customers come to the window and order that day off? Well, I think we're, uh, just for this this weekend, we're going to do straight orders from the window, and uh, you know you can uh, come park your car, eat in your car. Um, if weather, well, it's weather dependent. So I mean, if the weather is good, we'll have uh, picnic tables out, and we'll also have activities for the kids. Or you'll be able to just uh, uh, pack it up and take it home. 
So another question, Ed, here is uh, where do these funds go to? Because we all saw that uh, you just finished your uh, virtual uh, 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 crossing of Lake Ontario to send uh, kids to camp, much needed kids to camp that yes. aren't able to afford it. Uh, where are these funds going to specifically for the YMCA? So this event, while well, we're going to use as our kickoff event for our Strong Communities campaign, and that's uh, that encompasses everything that the YMCA does. So all the proceeds of the event will support programs that help individuals, seniors, families, and children uh, reach their re reach their potential, even if they do not have the financial means to do so themselves. I'll give you the uh, final floor one more time to promote Wing Fling Pop Up when it is, uh, the dates and hours, and uh, when uh, when people can uh, start lining up to get their wings. Okay, so we're starting off on uh, April second, uh, Saturday, April second rolling through right to April 3rd from 11 to 6 each day. So uh, drive on down, um, pick up your um, wings and fries. The fries are $6, wings are 10.